Hi GX community, this is GX Bob coming to you guys again to showcase another product I think you guys might like. I'm not sure because I haven't seen it yet. So we are going to be opening up this box together to check it out. But first let me tell you guys that there are so many companies out there that claim to have the next best thing for our vehicle and for our driving experiences. My job is to buy these products, go home, open up the box, check it out for you, install it for you guys, and you guys at the end can figure it out yourself if you guys like it or not. I'm just here to make you guys aware that these products actually exist. So a couple of weeks ago, I'm not sure if uh, <clears throat> you see my video where I showcased an air ram duct that is supposed to redirect air from our footwell middle row into front driver and front passenger seat fans. A lot of you guys make comments in the comments section saying they work and you like them a lot. So do I. I, I actually like this product because it does work. But what I did leave out on that video is you actually have to turn on the air or AC redirecting your OEM air to the footwell in order for this to become efficient so the fan doesn't work by itself. So just remember that footwell settings have to be on, okay, which is not that hard to do, guys, come on. So let me go ahead and move on and tell you guys about another person <clears throat> that saw this design. I don't know if he bought the design, I don't know if he looked into it, but he saw the design and he noticed a flaw in the design. And I think he noticed it when I installed it in my video. His product claims to redesign this current design in order for the intent of this design to be more efficient. He's saying he redesigned it so it would go direction of the fan and not just up. If you install this current design, the redirected air just goes up regardless of where that seat fan is. His fan, his air ducts claims to redesign this so it goes directly to the fan and not just going up. So I don't know what this design is. I can pretty much make a safe assumption and I can think that it's not going to be a perfect rectangle. It's going to be like a little shape that goes this way i i don't know so let's go ahead and open up this box together and let's go check it out come on guys so here you go let's go ahead and open up this bad boy and check it out okay. okay guys just as i expected <clears throat> It's a redirection of air with a different design. So if you take a look at this, if you take a look at the inlet ports right here, let's make some comparisons right here. The walls on this one is a lot thinner. This one's a lot thicker. I'm not sure if that even makes a difference. Most likely not. But if I was to lay this on top of one another, you can see that this right here redirects the air going that way. The current design just redirects the air going up. Would that make a huge difference? Who knows? Let's go ahead and put this on the car. Okay, guys, we are right behind my driver's seat. I already removed the bolts holding down my driver's seat. I moved it up and out of the way just so you guys could see what's going on underneath our driver's seat, okay? If you take a look at the roller red tape, I already positioned it exactly where our under seat fan is located in relations to inboard and outboard, okay? It's not positioned in reference to forward or aft, okay? I wanted to keep it out of the way just so we could in install the air ram duct so we know that this roller red tape is where our seating fan is and it is about dead center of our seat if you take a look at our hvac ducts underneath there where it's going to be blowing out cold air once you put on the cold settings for your footwell you can go ahead and see that if we install the air ram duct from two weeks ago in here you are going to be blowing cold air up here, but you're only going to be capturing half of this tape, half of the underseat fan. Let's go ahead and remove this. What the redesign did 
was make it so all the air would be redirected truly to where the fan is to make the cooling more efficient. Let's go ahead and install this. Now if you take a look at where the air ram is and where the fan is, and if I bring the fan back here in line, now do you see how the redirection will work in a more optimal way? So what do you guys think? Huh? Pretty interesting, pretty cool. To be honest, you guys, I don't have the capacity to measure the amount of airflow that's going to go into one over the other. I really don't. I think the original design of HID Miberia Engineering works great. I'm not going to put it down just because another product came out on the market. It works great. It works. It works perfect. And I actually do feel the difference. When I installed this and turn on my footwell settings and then turn on my AC and I put on full blast, I, not me, but my ass really felt cold, but did it feel colder than the original design? No, they both felt cold just the same way. I think that Hit My Beer Engineering did a great job with coming up with this. I also think that Crossroads 3D came up with another great idea that I think plays with you psychologically because if I'm telling you that this redirects air directly into your fan and this doesn't this just just scatters all over the place and this one redirects it directly where it's needed it's gonna get colder and it's gonna fuck around with your mind and it did with me because in while I was sitting inside my my car I was telling myself that it's colder but in reality I wanted to give Hit My Beer Engineering a fair chance versus Crossroads 3D and I think both of them are great designs both of them work the same but then again I don't vote one over the other because I know that Hit My Beer Engineering cannot print air ram ducts for thousands of GX's all over the planet and I think there's enough to go around for everybody. So if you hit up hit my hit my beer engineering and they're busy and they're 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 backed up and they're sold out or whatever, um, you can always go to another alternative, which is also a great 3D printer, Crossroads 3D. Um, they make a whole bunch of other products. You can go to them and most likely they'll be also available. So you now you have two sellers selling things for your GX460. So go out and give them a holler and tell them GX Bob sent you. Links are at the bottom of the video. Thank you. Peace out. Oh yeah. Oh God, that's better than sex.